Hi, I'm Elaine. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to share one of my smoothie recipes with you. And actually, I don't necessarily write any of these down because I just do a combination of fruits and vegetables, maybe what I have on hand, or maybe if I'm missing something in my diet, I will include it in that smoothie. I do create smoothies versus fruit juice or juicing the fruits and vegetables because in juicing, you're left with the sugar of that fruit and vegetable and not necessarily the other benefits like the fiber content. And so I want everything that the fruit and vegetable has to offer to me. So I blend it in a blender. The blender I have here is my blend tech which I did get from Costco. I absolutely love it, except for, I believe my mother had a Cuisinart that I was surprised. It blended exceptionally well, and it was about a third of the cost of this blend tech, but I absolutely love this. I can do everything with this from creating soups to um, ice cream, uh, vegan ice cream, as well as um, smoothies. So just a very um, well-rounded blender, so absolutely love it. Today, what I have on my cutting board here um, is a rainbow of colors, a rainbow of fruits and vegetables. So I've termed my uh, smoothies rainbow juice, and I came up with that name for my son when he was a child to make it fun. I would always explain that it was super important for us to eat the rainbow daily, and not only daily, but at every meal. It's great to incorporate the rainbow of colors. So the five color category that makes up the rainbow are whites and tan, yellow and orange, red, green, and blues and purples. And so today, this could be any mix of fruits and vegetables that you like uh, to include in your smoothie, but you definitely want to include that mix of colors. You also want to consider what that fruit or vegetable can offer and maybe what your body is missing or maybe what you need to improve your health. Today on my cutting board, I am using banana and this banana is frozen. Um, and I love frozen fruit in the smoothies because I don't have to add ice and it's just going to make that smoothie a great temperature. Um, bananas, if you're well-versed with bananas, some of the key benefits are it's rich in fiber, potassium, it's also great for kidney health, and it's also a great pre prebiotic, pardon me, for the body. So absolutely love bananas. With Also with that white category or white and tans is ginger. And this ginger, I left the skin on. You want to clean that really well to make sure that you get any dirt and debris off of that ginger, but it's also great to leave the skin on. There are also health benefits in the skin as well. And ginger, of course, is great for our digestion. Um, it's great for nausea. So if you're ever feeling not so right, your stomach's just uneasy, make yourself a ginger tea. It's excellent. It will help just relieve that uneasiness like right away. It's also great for inflammation and it's great for lowering cholesterol as well. For my yellow and orange categories, I have lemon and carrots and I also left the rind on the um, lemon. Again, health benefits in that rind. There are times that I may cut it off, but um, definitely including it for this video. Um, lemon, of course, is a great source of vitamin C it is also excellent for um, the eyes, as are carrots, which are high in uh, beta carotene. The lemon can also help improve digestion as well as lower cholesterol. And I kind of touched a little bit on the carrots, but they can also, some benefits that people aren't aware about carrots is, is they can also help strengthen our bones. So carrots is an excellent source, of course, with digestion as well. And then my red categories, I do have some frozen cherries here, which again, love including that frozen uh, fruit or vegetable when I can. Um, the cherries, of course, any red is usually going to be great for heart health. Um, other benefits for cherries are going to include being an antioxidant. 
Um, it has great anti-inflammatory compounds, and it's also going to help boost or improve our recovery time after a strenuous exercise. And then grapes are not only an antioxidant, but also great in improving our memory or our mood. So if we're not feeling so great, grapes may be a great uh, snack to reach for. Um, it also has a great, it also is, I should say, a great source of B vitamins. And for a vegan, that's extremely important. Uh, the skin, of course, is known for heart health as well. Um, the grapes are also going to offer an antioxidant as well as benefits to the eye health, and a lot of people aren't aware of that. The uh, spinach and the celery. Celery, of course, is great for good-looking skin, so you, we want to get celery into our bodies daily if we can. It's a wonderful vegetable. Absolutely love it. The celery is a great source of fiber. It also helps in preventing cancer. It can also fight against Alzheimer's. So it is a great one to include. Spinach is a superfood, and I kind of love my superfoods at the end. But spinach is wonderful. There, it contains um, not only calcium, but it also offers uh, magnesium as well as iron. It's going to help reduce blood sugars and also hypertension in the body. So those are a few key um, elements to this superfood. And then blueberries, one of my favorites. Um, the blueberries are another great source of helping uh, to improve muscle function or just kind of reduce the pain after exercise. So if you are exercising uh, strenuously, do consider adding these in your smoothie after your exercise. But of course, blueberries are going to offer a host of vitamins like vitamin C, K, and manganese which is very important. It's about 5%, um, a serving is about 5% of the daily uh, need for manganese. So absolutely love that. We need to keep that in our bodies. And it's also going to help improve memory and brain function as well. And of course, these two superfoods are great antioxidants. So we're going to get started just loading these right into the blender here, and we're gonna blend this up. So we're gonna load our frozen banana right into the blender along with our ginger, the lemon. And typically if I add like lemon and especially with that uh, peel on, grapes are an excellent sweetener uh, for lemon. So we're gonna add some grapes to that. Um, cherries. We're going to add our carrots. celery, our spinach, love spinach, we want to include all of that, and our blueberries. And it seems like all of the fruits and vegetables I included um, two, except for the blueberries. I should have included my blackberries today. And then in order to assist it in blending, I have two cups of water here, and this is filtered water. We're just going to add that to the blender and we're going to blend and you will notice that I did not um, necessarily include a measure for you on what I had here today definitely again um, as you begin to create your own uh, smoothies or as I term them rainbow juices um, you can determine what ratios work best for you but again, if you want them a little bit sweeter, include that, the grapes into it, and that will help sweeten it a bit. The blend tech is pretty loud, so I will stop the video and um, I will um, show you the results after it blends. On the blend tech, uh, there are certain just preset uh, keys here. I'm going to be using the whole juice setting, which is when you take whole fruits and vegetables and blend them. So I'll be right back. And pour. So this one makes about um, 36 ounces, uh, which is going to be three servings. Um, I typically drink a glass. My son 
we'll also drink a glass and then we usually fight over that remaining glass. We typically split it, but that's great. It's an excellent juice. So I highly recommend you looking into your health, determining which fruits and vegetables are needed for your diet and try blending them for your next rainbow juice. I hope you found this video to be very helpful and I hope it gets you thinking about your own health. I hope it allows you to start researching fruits and vegetables to find what health benefits you might find in them and which ones may benefit you. I hope you will like and subscribe below and I am hoping that you will join me again soon.